Good afternoon. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy bloody holidays. We're back in the bus. A lot later than we usually are. It's actually 20 past two and we've only just set off. We're not going to get where we're going till half past four. Oh, while we're on the subject, because I just put some uh, liquid gold in again, diesel. Has anybody had problems with the watches paying for it? Because it's happened to me a couple of times now, it's declined. So I've had to come back in the bus and get a card. Yeah. And Unbelievable. He's actually forgot the debit card that it's connected to. So, you know, and that's, as I say, that's, that's happening in the supermarket. Yeah. The other to, week. With £100 worth of shopping. Yeah. And it just happened again there. So Apple Pay, sort yourself out. Yeah, unbelievable. But you have used it because the, the reason we're late, the trucks had to go in for MOT, and then you went and had your hair cut and pissed around shopping. Did I swear then? Yes, I did. It's just... It's been a bit of a disaster today, to it be It really has, and then we... We have not stopped all day. And we're not taking the dogs with us because we're going... To what? We're heading down towards Reading. Well, we're going to Reading. And the forecast tomorrow is 29 degrees and we're going to be on tarmac so it wasn't worth risking burning the dog's paws as they get in and out of the van so we're being sensible dog lovers owners and left them at home Espe Not on their own. especially after last week absolutely i didn't i didn't say anything about it last week it shook me up so much you know when we you, you all know we were at bridge north and Dutch does not like to have a wee in short grass. She'll always go into long grass. So she went and she backed up towards the river and fell about seven foot down onto a shelf right by the fast flowing River Severn. I was on my own with the dogs. I was never been so scared in all my life. I was shaking. But Rob saved the yeah, night. I show, managed to, there's a bench right by her, so I managed to wrap Mavis's lead round it, run and speak to a woman, tell her to go and get Robert. And luckily for us, Dutch is so well behaved. You tell her to wait and she just stays stock still. And she did, thank God. Never been so scared in all my life. If she'd have gone a few inches, she'd have gone in the river. So I had to do a bit of mountain climbing? Yes, you managed to get her out, didn't you? So yeah, I don't want another, I don't want to be so scared like that again, ever. So we are on our way to Reading. I don't know if you watched the vlog, I hope you did. It was when we went and did a pub stopover at the flowing spring and they do the back end out round here get it round there you go. they do music festivals so at the time it seemed like a good idea diesel was at normal prices so we booked it and paid for it so yeah we're off our, on our way to reading we're off to have a rave so yeah that's that's you're looking really pretty shut up robert that's, okay that's where we are about up to up to date at the moment but it's 20 past two, it's drinking time. Well, it's somewhere in the world, it's five o'clock and we're not gonna get there till 25 past half past four. That's if the traffic's okay on the M5. Some holiday I'm having, that's all I can say. But on another good note, we will be seeing our little grandson tomorrow, who is five. He lives down that way and it was his birthday on the 13th, so a few days ago. So we're going to see him as well. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. And that's about it, isn't it? So shut up now. Yes, please. <laughs> so we'll crack on to Reading. No, I've got to get on the motorway first and have a have a laugh on there. Oh gosh, well it's now twenty to five. We're going to get there in ten minutes. What a journey! The motorway has been busy. It's just been crap. Well, I'm not one to moan. Yes, you are. All of you, I've needed gin and tonic. We're going to start to get going to shock in a minute. I've just said. <laughs> 20 to 5 and we still haven't had a drink it's not good but yes where we're we going is called the flowing spring and they have what's called a party in the garden where they have bands on and an outdoor bar and it looked good at the time didn't it to book it well it's you again money no i think it was both of us no definitely not no definitely you but we're not going to be here uh we're only stopping here two nights and then we are going somewhere else and getting back before the heat wave kicks in on Monday. That's the plan anyway, isn't it? I'm not talking to you. That's good, quiet weekend. Happy with that. There's nothing but moaning at me all the way down. I haven't, I've actually tried to sleep because I'm shattered and he, he was coughing. Not really coughing, pretend coughing. 
so I'm not happy. Can I have but a boiling over the weekend? Never know, I can't, can I? I will when you go back to work on Tuesday. Mile, I'll be with that. Right. Tight down here. Yeah, I'll uh, turn it around in a sec when we get there. So this is the approach to the flowing spring. It's 0.2 miles. It really, from what we look, remember last time when we came, but it was in the winter. It didn't really look much from the outside, did it? No, it doesn't look much from the outside. My little fruit cake, my little pineapple, my little rope side. And this is it up here on the right hand side. The white, not this one. That's somebody's little cottage. There it is, the flowing spring, yes. three house. And you've got to turn right, get the back end out round here. Yeah, it's a bit dodgy, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah. The dodgy is you. <laughs> Do we end down there, yeah? I don't know. Yeah, oh, well. Folk rock band Flint Moor, 16th bottom out. of July. 16th of July, that's what we're going to see, as it's the 15th of July today. There you go. There we go, and then we go in here and hope the gates are open. They are. Well, there's no gates on it. But it did say gates are closed, and in front you can see all the tents and everything is put up ready. I can just there you go. come around. There you go. Happy days, happy holidays. So we've just got to find somewhere to pull up now. No, and I've got to find a house, boy. Oh yeah, so we'll uh, yeah we'll sort it out. We'll see in a bit. Right, bit of a change of plans. How rude was that man? Robert's not happy at all. Um, I phoned him yesterday and said we didn't want to travel full of water. And he said, how much do you need? And, he, and I, I said, well, about 20 litres. We just need about a quarter of a tank. Uh, was it about that, 20 litres, something like that? So he said, okay, have you got a hose pipe? And I said, yeah, we've got that. So he said, okay, fine, see you tomorrow. So we pulled up and got to the tap, started to fill up and he comes downstairs. Do you realise we're on a water a water meter? And I said, well, we, are, we we did I did phone yesterday and ask, and you said, okay, we're not we're not going to take the mic and fill it right up. We just need enough. And he walked off and slammed the door. So sorry, I'm happy people. We're not going to give. I think that that's a bit off. We're not going to give people business that treat us like that. No. So, so never we, again. Cut our losses no. and we're off to a site. So the flowing spring in a motorhome, nah, it's not friendly. So we, I've just sat down trying to find somewhere and unfortunately the only thing I could find at the moment is uh, a caravan and motorhome club site, Henley on Thames. We know it's lovely, we've been there before. It did say fully booked on the site on the website but I've called and said, can you get us in? And he said yes. Happy days. So, and we've got an electric hookup, and we can fill up with water completely. And we don't let anything get us down, people. We'll just crack on to another site. Yeah, but there's just no need to be rude, is that really? Let's crack on then. So yeah, it's only actually six minutes away from where we are. So, happy days. So we'll see you when we get there again. All right, people. Quick update. I'll hand you over to my accomplice. Accomplice? <laughs> Partners in crime. <laughs> well, yeah, we're here at... Oh, can I just give you a tip? Oh, see what I mean? If you've got any of these chairs, don't put your drink in there and get up because the drink will follow you. That's what you did last week, wasn't it? I wasn't very happy. It's just been another disastrous day. It has been horrendous. You, first of all... We I was fuming, man. Fuming. First of all, after... I must have mellowed over the years. Can you shut up a minute? My contacts are really playing. Oh, for God's sake. Don't know if I told you any of you last oh, week, the my. other week, but I went for an eye test and I was actually illegal to drive. That's how bad my eyes are. So, because I've got to have very. Stop it! Because I've got to have very focals, they're going to take like three weeks. So she ordered me a load of contacts. Well, 500 quid? Gave me some contacts. But they started. I've had them in since about 12, 12 hours now, since 7 o'clock this morning, and they started to irritate. And I had to phone them up today because they still haven't arrived. And she said, I'm really sorry, but yes, they are here. Anyway, back to today. Bloody hell. So. It's like a dear, dear, dear bloody channel. Isn't we've it? got to Henry <laughs> Four out. Henry. Dealing. Henry. Dealing. Can you please tell us about your eyes? Shut up, Robert, for God's sake. So we've got to Henley Four Oaks, £60 later for two nights. 
But to be honest, this is a cracking site, this is. It is, the third time we've been yeah. here now. And you can walk into Henley, which will probably take you 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Really good. Beautiful site. Mm. So, Henley is beautiful. So we paid for Just it. Just like me. Parked up, sorted everything out, and the fella from the Flowing Spring phones. I do, I phoned to call, I do apologise. He didn't realise that it was us that had booked on. Pile of crap, if you ask me. And we are more than welcome to go back. And I turned around and after your turn around and said, after your attitude, no, we've driven off and we've booked in somewhere yep. else. But we've actually paid for two nights there. I think it was about thirty pay and that's all, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But you know, we've lost a lot more money in that in our time, so, yeah. so we'll just, just knock have it on, knock it on the yeah. Have it. Take it on the chin. That's the one. <laughs> it's just you you just I'm too old for that. Yeah, we're chin. too old for that crap. Yes. When we come away, we want to have a good time. We don't want nothing to put a damper on it, so we just moved on. He we come on this side, brilliant. Pay for the nose, but that doesn't matter because I'm happy. He, he was just so rude. Slammed the door as he walked away. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, never mind. You'll That's enough about that crappy place. Uh, so we are here, and apparently there's a boat festival on, so we're going to have a walk in there tomorrow. Hopefully. Are we? How That's, much is it? It's £10 in the day. But you're, you're, I ain't paying that, right. I'll send the drone over. Okay, so you can go, for, if you go on the night time, it's £3. There you go, tomorrow night we'll be over there. We'll have a, we'll have a little walk around Henley, show you around Henley. We've done that before. Yeah, we'll do it again. We'll go to a different street. <sighs> yeah, so I really hope you're having a good weekend. Yes. And, and you are, pro this is probably going to go out on Sunday, so all as I want to say is, Take care over Monday and Tuesday. The heat is going to be horrendous. Yeah, look after yourselves, people. Get, keep yourselves hydrated. And we'll see you in the morning when and we will start this vlog and say good morning. When I say hydrated, I don't mean alcohol, I mean water. Hey, first one of the night. And it's 7 pm. 7 o'clock, first drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, happy days. You're looking very brown. Shut up, Robert. I'm looking very pretty. Shut up, Robert. Just kiss her. No. To what? See you in the morning. See you in the morning. We'll no, crack on. We'll be back later. In the morning. Whenever. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I didn't realise you got the camera on there. You are looking very pretty. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> so, we've, we've shown you around this site before, so there's no point really doing it again. No. Nope. So, we we'll go to Henley, see what we can say. Yeah, we need to get some sausages. We didn't bring. Do you like a sausage? We didn't bring much food, did we? <laughs> With red sauce and mustard. Never mind. Shut up, Robert. Just kiss her. No. Just crack on. No. Oh. Just thought I'd get those beautiful cars in. I thought they were going in there, but obviously I was wrong. I was just saying, what a beautiful street this is. How people have looked after their houses and the Just flowers. like you, very pretty. Shut up, Robert. Stunning, aren't they? Just like me. Shut up, Robert. Stunning Henley. It's very nice here, isn't it? I love the place. It is but very, very busy, though. It is, and it well, it's only it's half past nine. Yeah. Uh, so it will be extremely busy later. Check that out. I think that's an Anfin. I forgot what it's called. Anfin here. No, I can't say. It's one of them cars. Mm, happy with that. <sighs> What's the word I was looking for then? Amphibious. That's the one. Amphibious. I'm so called Am, 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 Phibius. Phibius. Amphibious. All right, all right. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm trying to show you as much of it, of it as I can. Beautiful. And we're just going to show our respects to somebody again, aren't we? Yes, uh, Dus Dusty Springfield. Come on, let's go find Dusty. You can't at the moment, because there's somebody standing by a grave playing her music. Is it? Yes. Is that right? Yeah, we've got to hang on a minute because there's a bloke paying his respects. It's actually a lady. It's a bloke? It's a lady. I'm telling you, it's a bloke. It's a lady. It's a bloke? 100%? No, that's definitely a lady. Anyway. It's, it's a bloody bloke. It doesn't matter, but it's not. He's got more stubble than me. Right. 
So we'll have to hang on a bit, as I said, until yeah, so the, that person yes. has showed his respects. Her respects. Anyway, we'll at, have a look at him. At the grave, playing music you don't know. They could be related or they just could be a massive fan. Yes. So we're just going to chill out for a bit in the graveyard. I wonder if it, uh, any of our subscribers are coming to see me when I'm, I've pegged it. <laughs> no, oh, while we're on the subject, yesterday when I said about he didn't realise who we were, that said when I play, replayed it, it sounded rather pretentious. What I meant was he didn't. I don't think he realised that we'd booked and paid for two nights, yes. that we were just going there. But I think he thought we just turned up on the on the off on chance. the off chance because motorhomes can go there and yep. just took the mick and went to fill up with water. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's have you cleared that up now? I have. I'm Are you going to shut up rambling? Yeah, for now. Happy holidays, people. Happy holidays. So there she is, bless her. Yeah, just come play it to pay our respects. <sighs> so? It was a gentleman, but if he chooses to wear a dress and lady sandals, then that's entirely up to him. But it's still a bloke. It was a man. Happy with that? Sorry. I like to prove her wrong. As usual. Just kiss? No. Okay. You've spoiled again, haven't you? No. But, well, sort of. I had a Starbucks cup of coffee. I mean, is that being spoiled? Six pounds for a cup of coffee, I man. I tell you. A rip off. Shut up, Robert. Nice, sir. I enjoyed it. Now, the only supermarket around here is a Waitrose. How about going in there? It's too expensive. It's the only supermarket because you want some red sauce and some cops. We've had to come back. We have to come back and stop filming people. It's bloody hot out there. It is 26. It's going to get to 38 on Monday. I think so. So we've had to come under undercover, take a bit of shade, because the old bird was suffering. No, the old git was suffering. Old who's bird? That, who's that then? Well, there's only one old git round here. <laughs> yeah, we've had to come back and it's just too hot. So what's our plans then? You got none. Got no plans? No, you don't. Nobody loves us? No. Unbelievable. Just kiss. Total rubbish. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what, what, how much more filming we're going to do today, and then we're off again tomorrow, but we need to film something else tomorrow, which you'll find out soon. Saturday. Next Saturday. Yeah, well, it's really pretty. Total rubbish. It's too hot for your crap. So, uh, I hope you're enjoying this hot weather, people. Yeah, just like I said before, just stay safe, drink lots, stay yeah. hydrated and be, just be careful. Yeah. Let us know, uh, you know, what you've been doing and where you've been and how you've coped with the heat. It's not happened yet, really. It's, this is a, yes, it has. Bloody red. This is a really hot summer's day, but the next two days, no, Monday and Tuesday, days of today, Saturday. I'll, I'll get earlier. Yeah. Weather manling. At least my strap lines are going. Slowly. Keep trying to sit out in it for a cook. Unbelievable in this. I've got to cook as well in this heat. Well, you offered to cook your grandson something. Tell him about the butchers. We have just been to the <laughs> best butchers ever. It's We've just been to the most expensive butchers in the world. It's actually approved by Rick Stein. It's called Gabriel Machin in Henley. 30 odd quid for a sausage. Not quite. You bought two steaks, six sausages. Two steaks, six sausages, a uh, piece of black pudding. Yeah, 33 quid. But there were like tiger prawns there and they were £72 a kilo. And you throw most of it away, don't you? So, But the but food... Yes, yeah, top quality, it's supposed to be anyway. Yeah, and I've actually found out, because I picked up a leaflet, they actually do home delivery anywhere in the country. Well, I don't want no more. I might. It's bloody oldy like in Brills. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> You are a knob. Unbelievable, isn't it? It's too hot, isn't it, people, for just to listen to his crap. <laughs> it really is. It's all right for you, like, you can just press the off button. I've been looking for, looking for it for 33 years. <laughs> oh, have you finished? Bloody hell. But it is too hot for your crap. Well, it's Sunday morning, people. Yeah, time to move on. On to our next little adventure. Yes, which will be on next Saturday's vlog. We do apologise if we haven't done much filming. It's just too hot. It's too hot to walk around, it to be honest. Is it's 10 to 10 at the moment, yeah. so it's 23 degrees, so... Yeah, we we'll just... We'll, what site are we on? Henley Four, Henley Four Oaks. Is it? In Henley-on-Thames. Yeah. It's a beautiful site. Yeah. And the, the staff 
have been amazing, haven't they? Yeah, lovely. So accommodating. Yeah. Well, I'll just have a little quick walk around and see if we can see anything around the sites and uh, before it gets yeah before it gets too hot. I was just saying, I was just looking at the there's a load of conca trees here, and when we got here the leaves were green and today they're just rusty. They've all burnt, haven't they? Yeah, it's that hot here. Well, it is everywhere, isn't it? It is. Let's crack on then. Right, so as you come out of the site and turn right and go down that way, about 15, 20 minutes you're into Henley. Uh, yeah, Henley. Okay, now you are right on a main road here. It's a bit noisy, but not too much to worry about, to be honest. You can't really hear it that much when you're on site. We are parked up there on a lovely flat level pitch. Well, to be honest, they're all level. And we've dropped lucky because we have parked right opposite the facility block where there's bins, Elson Point and it's top quality uh, facility block to be honest spotless, well looked after check that out beautiful, a Morgan I believe another service point there Elson Point, bins, the usual show you all around the site Just so you got the general idea of the site, you know, if ever you want to visit here, which we would recommend. Because it's the second time we've been here and it's bang on. It's the third? Yeah. Okay. Well, if we've been here for three times, people, it's got to be good. Yeah, absolutely lovely site. Love You're it. looking very pretty. Shut up, Robert. And just down there, you've got a dog walking area. So you don't have to go off, off site to walk the dogs, which is perfect for us if we have the dogs. Yes, but we haven't got the dogs with us, have we? Because of the heat. Very wise. That's a cracking idea, that isn't it? That's a cracking idea, isn't it? Yes, well, yeah. Definitely. A little scooter, get your little helmet. So you tow one of those, you, you'd attach it's one of those. It's not towing, it's carrying. It's two different things. Yeah. I would carry one of those, no problem at all. Well, okay. that's, all that's the way to go, isn't it? You won't get your little legs over there, would you? That's true. And just in there, you've got all your information. You've got a beautiful reception here. And you can, the butchers we were talking about earlier, you can uh, uh, order barbecue packs from here for seven ninety nine, and you get sausage, bacon and burgers. Yeah, and we have the... Uh, sausages. Sausages and the black pudding, haven't we? And it's Amazing. Beautiful. The quality is second to none. Really is. Uh, yeah, and they've got a shop, you know, side shop, for all your basic things like milk, butter, rolls and all that in there so yeah it's a bang on site and also which is a fantastic idea which we did cover last time we were here is there a bike hire yeah uh, you do it via your phone and it's four pounds an hour yeah uh, which is an absolutely superb idea i don't think they're are they electric there they are are they electric yeah they are aren't they surely I yeah, that... yeah, I think so. No, there's no, no one. they're not electric. No, they're just. Well, normal. there you go. You got a bike. Normal bikes. Perfect. Four pound an hour, ideal. I don't know. I think if you do bikes, which I, I think don't. two pound an hour would be better. Well, of course it would. A pound an hour would be better. Well, it would. Three oh, would be better. I, don't know. I think that's a bit pricey to be honest. Four pound an hour. Oh, stop you! You're just whinging. Well, that's about it on this one, people. It's it is. Just too hot to do anything, to be honest. Yeah, and we've got to pack up and go, and we are because we're off to Cheltenham. Yeah, Cheltenham, here we come. Only for one night. Yeah, so uh, we hope you've enjoyed Henley, Henley on Thames. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Definitely recommend you to come here if you 100%. Have. Hang on, I've got something by to make. There you go, I've got it. And it's not me. Believe <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you do come across our channel by any chance. Yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give us a like, drop us a comment, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, so stay safe for a caravan as motor owners tend to drift with subscribers older than you. We still love you. We do. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. In a bit. Thank you.